Hello, it's that time of the week again where I have my midweek unboxing video. Not much in the way of mail this week. I've only got four boxes and one of which I ordered myself some spare parts. But the good news is that today I've got myself a box cutter. So no more struggling with those stupid scissors. Right, now without hanging around, let's get this video underway. Uh, this is box number one today. It's quite heavy. And this has come from Swatham in Norfolk, England. And I, as you know, I was over there recently. And if I'd managed to get in touch with the person that sent me this, I could have bought it back for him free of charge rather than him mailing it to me. Anyway, let's have a look and see what's inside it. Oh, this is so much better. Note to self, always use a box cutter on unboxing videos. Maybe we can cut this. I can't find a way into this box. <laughs> it's like a, not a Rubik's Cube, a mystery box, a Chinese mystery box where you can't open it. So much easier if you've got the right tools. Ah, I like this. There's a letter in here. Because this person in Swatham, I didn't know who it was. Let's hope this reveals who they are. Marty, I hope you like the donation. I know they have gone to a good home. All the best, David Cornwell. David Cornwell from Swatham, Norfolk in England. Well, thanks Dave. Let's have a look and see what you sent me. Wow, there's quite a selection here. Quite the collection. Wow, there's some really sort of old ones here. This looks like a little MG, but it's different to the one that I've done before. It's an MGA sports car made by Leslie in England. That's a classic, that one. How's that? Oh, here's one of those uh, Bedford tippers that I did. Oh, that one's a heap, heaps better than the one I did up. Still, it will come up great. That means I'll have two of the same, which is always good. These are some gems. This this little Land Rover here, this this has got a little guy in there that I'm going to have to get. But you know what? It's so simple and yet so cute. And I haven't got that, so that's very welcome. Here's a military truck, which will go towards my military convoy collection. Now, this one's in pretty good order. What's this one called? It's a something like, I can't even read it. Weather Ride Hydraulic, it says. So obviously it's a, a what do you call that, excavator? Somebody will correct me on that. That's nice. Now here's something similar, but different. Same, but different. And I'm going to have to try and rob or source a bucket for that one, which would be good. This is another one I haven't got. This is supposed to have a little sticker on the side, I think. Can't remember what it says. That's like a comma pickup truck. That's a uh, Morris, Morris pickup, it says. That's a beautiful little thing. And this here, see this little car here? That one, there. That was the first Matchbox car I ever did. And I didn't film it. And uh, it's in my first five video. So if you're interested to see what mine turned out like, have a look at that. It's not one of my most popular videos for some reason. Even though you get five for the time you normally watch for one. Although I don't go into such detail as well. But that's great. I'm going to look forward to doing another one of those up too. Now, what is this big little baby? This could be one. This could be a new, a new era for me about to take off with the larger models. Wow, what a beauty that is, isn't it? Look at that. It's a BP. Matchbox Service Station BP. I've never seen this before. There are so many Matchbox cars that I never knew existed. They must have made millions of them. So this is the Foden Breakdown Tractor. King size number 12. Well, look at that. What a beauty. I'm looking forward to doing that one up. That's going to look 
absolutely fantastic. So that's a fantastic selection, David. Thanks so much. And rest assured, these are going to be well loved by me. Now, I'm going to move on to the next package. Now, moving on to box number two. Now, this is a bit of a mystery, this one, because it comes from a B, a Mr. or Mrs. B. Hall. Now, I've checked my emails and I can't find any reference to a, a person with the surname Hall. So, I hope there's another letter in here. And this one's from an Australian, a fellow Australian, that lives in Queensland. I like the style of box. I was going to say, <laughs> it makes it easy to open. <laughs> what the heck? What am I doing wrong? <gasps> Holy mackerel! Have a look at that. This box is packed full of goodies. Let's get them out. Let's get them out. Right, let's get these out. A uni I'm, I'm going to get these out in double quick time because there's so many of them and we're pushed for, for time. A Unimog. A red bus with no wheels. A cream bus with wheels. A green bus with wheels. Another cream bus. Gee, I'm going to be able to open my own bus depot at this rate. What's this here? This looks like a tracked vehicle with a bucket missing. Seen better days, but that's good. I like ones like that. Ah, oh, look at this. It looks like somebody's had a bash at this one and pulled it apart. Maybe this is from, a, from another restorer and they've given up the game. Oh, that's a weird one. Check that out. It's like a trike or something. I'll move these back so you can see it. It's a trike. What is this? This looks like a... It's a, a king size. Matchbox Leslie king size. And somebody's written on there. MCC4? Maybe? Wonder what that meant. That's going to be great. Look at that. It's got a little hydraulic ram in there. A little hydraulic ram in there. Can you see that? What else we got? Look at that. What is that's the Unimog body base? Unimog base. See? Yeah. See that? It's the Unimog base. So somebody's been pulling these apart, I think. Oh, that's a good one. I do love that little model there. It's got a it's supposed to have a door that folds down there, but I've been after one of those for a while. So that's very welcome. A Jeep. Another broken tractor. The body of, I don't know what that looks like. It looks like a Hillman grill on there. We used to have a Hillman Minx when I lived in England. That looks a bit like a Hillman Minx grill. So maybe it's a Hillman, I don't know, there's no base on it. Oh, there's a grubby little Honda trailer there. Sticker missing. I'm gonna do these up. Might do a batch of those up, but when I get round to it. Uh, wow, this has seen better days. It's got super fast wheels on it. And it says something like Impy in uh, quote, quotation marks. A loadmaster Impy. So never ever heard of that or seen anything like that before. It's pretty crazy with the asymmetrical cabin there. There's a racing car of some description. With the super fast wheels on, with Ford series number 45. Can you see? I hope I'm hope you can see them all. Uh, did did Matchbox make uh, USS Enterprise? Don't think so. That one's a Corgi. I don't think that's from the 1960s. What do you reckon? Might be a little bit later than that. And there's definitely some bits missing off that, which would be very difficult to get. There's a trailer, boat, is that a boat trailer? There's a bit of, I wonder where these have been. Look, it's sort of like bits and pieces. They're out of somebody's garage. Oh, check this one out. This is unusual, I love the color. 
Oh, it's a Husky farm trailer. Oh, I thought I'd found a matchbox that I didn't recognise then. Uh, oh, the, the rear end comes down too. Look at that, like a little cattle truck. It's cute. Uh, we've got another tracked bulldozer here with no tracks. Funny how all the tracks are missing. I reckon they just perished. I reckon it must have been the rubber they used. They must have perished and just fallen off. Just about every model that's got tracks on it, when I get it, it doesn't have tracks on it anymore. But it's good. It's all good. Good challenge. Well, this looks like some kind of a heavy haulage thing. It's another matchbox. It's a king-size heavy wrecking truck. Wow, I reckon that would come up looking brilliant. Look at it, it's so goddamn shabby. If I could master that, that would be make for a great video. And lastly in here, there's a couple of tyres which always come in handy. You can never have enough tyres. But there's this fabulous looking orange taxi. It's, uh, it's been rolled over in its day and it's shattered the windscreen. Look at that from the factory. Look at the angle of that bloody, sorry. Look at the angle of that taxi sticker. That's straight from the factory, that is. You can tell they must have been rushing to get it done. Even on this side as well, look. Unless they're supposed to be on that angle, which I wouldn't have thought so. Oh, the boot's a little bit knackered. Is that a word I can use? Doors open. And this is a corgi. Mercedes Benz, so it's not actually a matchbox. It's still a pretty cool car. Hey. And there's a little letter in here. And there's a few little bits and pieces. I don't know what the heck that is. Oh, there's a door. Oh, that's the tailgate off of that, look. And there's a little bit of metal broken off of probably that trailer. Perhaps all will be revealed. And that is that box empty okay these were sent in oh man I feel so guilty these were sent on the 21st of February these this person that sent me this must have been thinking got lost in the post it's Bruce Hall from Brisbane hi Bruce hi Marty really enjoy your YouTube channel hope these will be of some use some are from my youth some found and some from eBay. Have fun. Kind regards, Bruce Hall, Brisbane, Australia. Well, thanks, Bruce. Absolutely fantastic selection of bits there. I like this one, the favourite. And I'm going to be doing that one up pretty soon. The other was, others will have to wait their turn. So thanks ever so much. And look at all these buses. You can never have enough buses. And you know the good thing about these are, there's so many different types with different, different brands on them. That I could make all these up as different different buses, no no worries whatsoever. So they they'd be fantastic makeovers. And this one here is going to come in handy for spare parts, I reckon. So that's excellent. Thanks so much. I'm going to clear the table and then I'm going to open these two boxes. Table cleared. Box number three is from Mark Taylor. And I checked his email and I think I know what it is. So let's have a look. And if it is what I think it is, it's one model that I've been after for a while and I haven't got one. There is a model. And I'm thinking that's all is in it. Top job with the packaging there. Now if this is what I think it is, it's one I've been after for a while. Oh, look at that. What a beautiful red colour that is. You know what car this is? This is a Volkswagen 1600. Um, and I think it's got a couple of letters after the end of it. T TL. Volkswagen 1600 TL. Number 57. What a cute little motor car this is. Now I've seen, I think Bare Metal did one of these up. It turned out really good. A fancy looking grill here on the front with sort of like uh, extra fog lamps on it and unusually for me this will be probably the first one ever I've done that's got these chromed hubs on it so that I haven't got any any like this I don't think 
So this is part of the reason why I was after one of these and uh, Mark Taylor has sent it to me. So thank you very much Mark. That is going to be, that's going to feature in a video all on its own. And it's all because of you. So that's brilliant. And if you haven't seen Bare Metal's uh, video on this, you should go check it out. Um, I'm pretty sure it was Bare Metal that did it. Uh, if not, please correct me in the comments. Now this one here is parts that I ordered uh, from a spare parts company called uh, modelcarparts.com and I ordered them that long ago that I cannot remember for the life of me what it was I ordered. Oh, I love the boxes this guy uses. You know, it's, it's a real sort of professional setup. Now I think he's in Holland. So he sends things like this, like a bit of packaging paper in there. And there's a bit of Dutch there. It's all double Dutch to me. Well, what have I got here? There's a, a list of bits I've ordered. So, Oh, look. Sight hut for the, the little sight hut truck. Isn't that a beautiful little reproduction model of that sight hut truck hut? Look at that. It's like a little Wendy house. That's great. I know it's a big bit of the model too, but you know, I could have maybe printed one in 3D on the 3D printer, but to design it for me it would have taken a week and I don't have that much spare time these days. So it's just as easy for me to order one online. But that's uh, going to top it off lovely. Oh yes, there's a little package of something here, bits and pieces. Like I say, I can't actually remember what I ordered. Oh, oh there's a few metal parts in here. I'll have to rip the bag open. We've got a little man, and I can't remember what he's off of. Could be a tractor driver. There's another little man here, and he looks familiar, but I can't remember what I needed him for, so I'm going to have to go through my models and check. But I obviously ordered it. Oh, actually, he might be a racing. He's a racing car driver, that one, I think. And this one's a tractor driver. And, oh, there's another person. He's driving a steamroller or something. I can't remember. So there's three men. There is a tailgate for a station wagon or an estate car. And there is a, a boot, I'm guessing. Looks like it might be for a Jaguar or something. Oh, here's some other bits here. That's strange. I don't remember ordering these. Oh, these are for these are for the airport fire tender. It's got new wording on the side. It's got um, pipes and a ladder because all the plastic bits on those models fall off and get lost pretty early on in the piece. I'm guessing because everyone I've seen's got bits missing. And in this little bag here. There's some transparencies for a variety of vehicles. And I've seen that one before, I think. Uh, but I can't remember what models they're for. And but I obviously needed them, so that's why I spent 33 euros on them. Just don't tell her indoors, I'll she will uh, go off her nut. Right, I've cleaned off the table. And now I've got one last thing to show you. When I was on holiday in England, one of my subscribers is called Dean Collins. He sent me from America a large package. And in my absence, Kevin opened it up. So when I got home, I had all these little goodies that Dean had sent me. And I'm going to show you them now. And this guy is probably one of the most generous guys I know. So, first off, he sent me, to assist with my unboxing videos, he sent me a nice little Victorinox Swiss Army knife in a presentation box, which just blew me away when I saw that. But then even better, he sent me this amazingly detailed Los Angeles Police Department challenge coin. Right? Now, 
it's, it's heavy, it's real good quality, and it's just a beautiful thing, and it's exactly the sort of thing I collect. If you look behind me, there's all these little treasures in this cabinet behind me, and there's actually more of these challenge coins in there, and this is going to go into my challenge coin collection. And I'm going to remember who it's from. Dean in Los Angeles. And I think that Dean may have some connection with the Victoria, uh, with the LA Police Department. Because he also sent me this fantastic shirt. And it's got Air Support Division LAPD logo on it. And on the back, again, Air Support Division. And it's a picture of uh, like an eagle with a camera. So I'm thinking, you know, when they have a pursuit on those crime shows and they show you it from the air, these are the guys that film the pursuit. So he sent me those things, but not only that, because I've got such a love of model cars, he sent me this fantastic model of a Ford GT, hang on, 2017 Ford GT 118th scale maze tow model and somebody has informed me that this actual car is Jeremy Clarkson's favourite car you know the guy off top here and I can see why because look at it it's an absolutely beautiful looking car isn't it but this model's equally as beautiful as the real McCoy because it's got like these semi gold wing doors how cool is that it's got a working steering wheel that makes the wheels turn. It's got the bonnet. Uh, sorry, the, this is on these, it's a mid mounted engine. So on the front where the engine normally is, there's like a little overnight uh, suitcase uh, stowage area. And in the back here, I think this opens up too, there it reveals the engine. So, absolutely beautiful model. And this is going in my trophy cupboard. And I'm going to get up there. I've got a tank in an illuminated case. I'm going to get another illuminated case just for this. And it's going to live up there for a very long time, I think. And it is just brilliant. So thanks so much, Dean. And I'm sorry it took so long to uh, give you credit where credit was due. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. So, folks, having shown you all these goodies... That's all I've got for you this week. Uh, there is a new video out this weekend, and I'll keep that a secret. I won't tell you what it is. And um, I just hope that you've enjoyed this unboxing video. I'll try to make them interesting. If you did, let me know. If you didn't, tell me how I can improve. I always welcome feedback. So once again, this is Marty from Marty's Matchbox Makeovers saying goodbye and thanks for watching.